Hello there, this is Precious Serial Ho again. Now we'll be talking about HTML lists. HTML list makes it easy for you to group a set of related items in a list. There are two types of lists in HTML. An unordered list which you open with a UL tag and a ordered list which you can do with a OL tag. Also, there is a description list of items that you open with a DL tag then you use the DT tag to define the term's names and the DD tag to describe each term. So we'll go into the code to do this right now. So let's start with the UL tag. We're going to delete what we had previously for the table so that we can do this immediately. So let's say using an H2 tag, Let's say we want to create a list of ingredients for jollof rice. That's the H3 heading tag. So we're going to use an unordered list to do this. So you say UL, then closing UL. Then inside of it, you put in the list of things that you want to list inside the li tag. Opening and closing li tag. So for jollof rice, the first thing should be the rice itself. Let's say salt. I'm not a good cook. So forgive me if I get the ingredients wrong we say pepper let's add more water um, I don't know Maggi let's reload our browser to see what we have so as you can see you have an ordered list that shows you ingredients for jollof rice. Now, the next one is the ordered list. So let's do steps to cook the jollof rice. <laughs> steps to cook jollof rice. No one is cooking lies. We are going to use the ordered list for this one. And you open that with the OL tag and closing OL tag. And the very first thing there is you have your L high tag again. And we say, um, yes, wash your rice. After washing your eyes, definitely you put them in a pot. Then after that, I believe you should add water. After that, I think you should add all other ingredients. Add other ingredients and allow it to cook so i'll save that and let's see what we have on our browser so you see ingredients for jollof rice was created using an unordered list why the steps to cook jollof rice was created using a ordered list then the next one I wanted to show to you, which you might not use a lot of time, is called the description list. So to create a description list, all you need to do is just... So to create a description list, let's give this an heading, let's say... Um, another H3 description list you enclose everything in a dl tag 
You may not use this a lot of time, but it's good that you know what it does. Then you have the first one, which is a description term, DT. Closing DT. Let's say coffee. Then the description, which is called DD. Taste bitter. Let's duplicate that. Next one will be chocolate. Tastes sweet. I'll save that and let's see what we have on our browser. So you see, in the description list, the term comes as a heading why the description um, the test description comes with a tab so that is all on html list and description list i'll see you in our next lesson